Heart disease is the biggest killer of women in the United States. One in two women will be affected by heart disease, heart attack, stroke. One in eight women will get breast cancer. So you're four times more likely as a woman to have a heart attack or heart disease than have breast cancer. Heart disease can differ between men and women. Women are more likely to present later, for example, in a heart attack. They present with atypical symptoms. They don't have the crushing chest pain that the men might have. They can just have nonspecific symptoms like feeling tired, aching in their chest. I had a patient once have a major heart attack, a middle-aged woman, and her earlobe was aching. So they can have all kinds of different kinds of symptoms. Why do women ignore the warning signs of heart disease compared to men? Some of that I think could be cultural, if you will. Women are more likely to be kind of the nurturer of the family. We tend to put our own needs, physical, emotional, on hold for the family, something like that. So we tend to not go to the doctor. We present later in our heart attack. Um, women don't think that they're having a heart attack. They think only men have heart attacks. People wonder, can we prevent heart disease in women? What can I do to prevent having a heart attack? Well, there's a lot of things that you can do as a woman to protect yourself from heart disease. Don't smoke. If you smoke, you have to quit. That's a good starting point. Try not to be obese. Trying to get near your um, ideal body weight is great. Regular exercise is good at preventing heart attack cancer, all types of problems, uh, not being a diabetic or controlling your diabetes, know your cholesterol numbers, own your cholesterol. If you have a family history of heart disease or high cholesterol, get it checked out. And make sure that if you have high blood pressure, it's controlled by medication. The takeaway message I'd like to give you is that heart disease is not just for the guys. It's very much a women's issue the biggest killer of women in America. So women need to have their health needs addressed in cardiology. They need aggressive evaluation of cholesterol, blood pressure, stress testing if needed. Women need to be included probably in more cardiac research studies. And there just needs to be a greater awareness that heart disease is very much a woman's issue.